Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I woke up this morning feeling a way. I woke up feeling like there's a need to release, there's a need to detox, um, to cleanse, to gain some clarity and I was going to do this on my own and a uh, spirit told me make a video. Maybe somebody else needs this clearing, right? So here I am with uh, a small, very, very small, quick little ritual. Um, I wanted to include all of the elements. We have our air, we have our water, we have our fire, we have our earth, right? And I just kind of want to talk to you guys about what I'm feeling, um, the the shifts that's happening um i feel like social media is definitely affecting us in ways that we don't really understand we don't understand the gravity of it right um and i have absolutely no script i'm just going off the top of my head about my feelings um the things that i'm seeing the things that i'm feeling um, we are at a point where spirit is speaking to us and spirit is making things happen based on our vibrations. And like I say in my readings to clients, spirit is going to give you whatever it is your, your vibrations ask for. If your vibrations are rooted in ego, everything ego-based will come to you. Deception, lack, desperation, all of that, right? If you're vibrating on a level of love, prosperity, you know, um, self-care, all of these things that are that raises your vibration and the things that you want to call forth to you, that's what spirit is going to give you. Now... Um, subconsciously, we call things to us by everything that we do, right? Now, I'm seeing a whole lot of things on social media talking about your diet and all of this stuff. Now, I'm a big girl and I agree, I can definitely afford to add more plant-based food into my diet. That being said... As an alchemist, there are certain things I prescribe to and there are certain things I don't prescribe to. You're not going to limit my power based on the food that I eat. I know that I could live healthier, absolutely. But you're not going to tell me I'm not going to be able to manifest the things that I want to manifest because I choose to eat a cheeseburger instead of a salad, right? That's what That's the vibration I'm on. That's the reality that I align to. Not everybody um, is on the path of mental alchemy or different things like that, and that's okay. But the, the point that I'm trying to make is you cannot allow social media to dictate where your, your frequency goes. Um, I feel like the things that we see up and down our timeline subconsciously affect us in so many different ways that we could wake up, immediately grab our phones, and then immediately feel like today is going to be a bad day. You haven't even been awake enough to sit with your own energy before you make this declaration, but because you've picked up this phone and started scrolling and absorbed all of this negativity, all of this toxic shit from scrolling, you now feel like your day is going to be a bad day, right? Sometimes we just need to stop Take a moment and sit with our own energy. Sit with our own vibes before we start diving into other people's drama, other people's mess, other people's scandals, right? And talking about scandals, stop idolizing spiritualists. Stop idolizing anybody that's not you. Idolize your goddamn self. There's absolutely no reason that you put so much faith into one person that 
you forget that they're human. You forget that they are susceptible to mistakes. They are susceptible to ego. They are susceptible to all of the things that come with the human experience. It is time to stop idolizing people and idolize your goddamn self. The only person you need to be accountable for is yourself. There's no reason why I open up my Facebook and see all of these different scandals about how this person's done that person wrong and, and this person, I allowed this person to do X, Y, and Z to me. At the end of the day, we have to stop idolizing people and we have to start holding ourselves accountable for the things that we turn a blind eye to, which I am going to get into that next month, which would be next year for the podcast, which is coming back. It's too much negativity we are allowing into our subconscious via social media. It's too much negativity that we are allowing because we lack the boundaries when it comes to the people closest to us. Now, this is going to bother some people, but it is a lesson that I had to learn very recently. Yes, you hold space for those you hold dear, those you hold close to you, right? But nobody on the face of this planet, this plane, or any plane for that matter, 3D, 4D, 5D, 12D, it don't matter. Nobody should come without boundaries. Yourself included. There, there has to be boundaries in absolutely everything, every experience we have. Because if you don't have boundaries for yourself, that means you lack discipline. If you don't have boundaries for others, that means you allow whatever their experience is to now become your experience. And this is something that I learned over the past few weeks. And the results of me not having boundaries has, has caused me to physically shut myself off from the world for like 24 to 48 hours. Whereas I might have been on feeling on the top of the world, but then because I didn't have the boundaries in place that I needed to, because I felt like that was the right thing to do for the people I love, it caused me to hold space for them to release all of what wasn't serving them and all of that energy found a nice, happy home in me. And it left me physically fatigued. It left me feeling like my whole world was crashing down on me. And none of it was true. None of that was part of my reality. And I realized in that moment that I need boundaries for literally every experience of my being myself included. We have to start holding ourselves to a higher standard, not other people. Hold yourself to a higher standard. And that comes with setting boundaries for you and those around you. As we go into the new year, um, I'm going to say that this video is timeless, but I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the energy of the right now. Um, as we are approaching the new year, and I hate to even bring this up, but this whole great conjunction of the 21st of December. While I absolutely believe that... Well, I, obviously, I believe in the Great Conjunction because that's the astrology, that's science, it's planets. But this whole superpower thing, and I get it, it's a, it's, an, um, it's a great joke. Some of these memes are classic. Some of these memes have had me cackling, gagging, all of that, right? But I need people to understand that 
all of the fear mongering that's coming with it, that's not going to make other people, that's not helping anybody, right? And all it's doing is feeding your ego, which we know ego is all about lower vibrations. So all this fear mongering that you're seeing across social media about the great conjunction, it's just, y'all are making my ass itch. Like real talk. It's out of control. It is. I don't know if this is going to be <laughs> a rant. I don't know what I'm going to call this. I really don't because I just feel like I need to get this out. Um, this is my own personal release and I guess I'm just letting you guys in on it. Um, if you want to take a moment to just kind of hold the energy of this ritual, this ritual is about clearing. It's about bringing in more love and less fear. It's about clarity, right? We have lots of clarity crystals inside of this pyramid. We have lots of love and healing crystals inside of here. We have selenite, clear quartz. We have spirit quartz, which is a very high vibrating stone. Veracruz, amethyst, and angelite. These are all crystals to help with clarity, with healing, with love, self-love, inner love, right? Unconditional love. Let's take a moment and take some deep breaths, right? In through the nose, fill up your belly, fill up your solar plexus, hold it until it's a little tight. Hold it for three seconds and then out of your mouth, right? And as you take your, your breath in, I want you to inhale the energy of this ritual. Inhale the clarity. Inhale the love. Inhale the clearing, the releasing, right? And as you get ready to exhale, push out all of the ego feeding vibrations, the doubt, the fear, the anxiety, the depression, the imposter syndrome, right? Let's do that three times. So inhale. Hold it. Release. One more time, inhale. Last one. Clear out all that gunk, clear out all of that, all the energy that doesn't, that doesn't even belong to us. You might be releasing energy from scrolling social media. You might be releasing energy from gossip that you heard from your friend. You might be releasing energy from a coworker that upset you or came into the office talking about their issues. Release everything that does not belong to you. Release it. Let it go. Exhale, right? Exhale. Get it all out. I feel better <laughs> having my own release. And I hope that through my rant, <laughs> you guys still gained a little bit of something from this energy um that is a sage incense by the way i love you guys i love the way you guys support me i love all of the comments i try to respond to all of the comments that i can um and i want us to thrive in 2021 Let's let's not go into 2021 holding other people's shit, right? Wake up to your own energy before you dive into social media. Spend time with your own energy before you start kikiing with your friends, right? Take time for yourself. It's a lesson that I'm learning. I am not perfect by any means. 
And I never want anybody to put me on a pedestal. Put yourself on a pedestal. You deserve to be on your own pedestal before anybody else. I just want us all to be great. That's it. And hopefully this ritual will bring a little bit of greatness to you as you make room for it by clearing out all of the shit that doesn't belong to you. So I'm going to go quiet for about 30 seconds so you guys can soak it all in. Okay, I am going to wrap this up with a little bit of sound. Love you guys. Peace.